In this training video, we'll demonstrate how to add respondents to an existing dataset using the append feature. This is typically done when working with tracking studies, where waves of respondents are added to an original dataset. In this example, we're looking at the dataset containing results from the first wave of this study. Recently, we obtained the results of the second quarter of this survey. The second quarter results include a new wave of participants who responded to the same survey questions we asked in the original first wave. In order to analyze the data from both quarters and compare the individual quarters of data to each other, we need to add the new data to the data that already exists in MarketSite. First, we'll right-click on the dataset name and select the Append Data option. This will launch the Append Wizard. At the top of the window, we see the current dataset we're working on. Now we'll add a new set of respondents. In this scenario, we're adding new records or respondents to our original dataset. Make sure the correct append type is selected. If you're appending new variables to your dataset, please view the training video about appending variables. Click the first select button next to data file containing new data and browse your hard drive to find the new dataset containing the second wave of respondents. Click open to load the data. If this file has an associated labels file, that can be added below using the second select button. We'll skip this step now and load the data file as is. The variables contained in the second wave of this study are the same as the variables contained in the Q1 dataset. Slight changes have been made to a few of the variable labels and the variable codes in the Q2 dataset, but this will not prevent us from successfully appending the data. During the process, the append wizard will help us align the two datasets so they are properly merged. Click Next to proceed, and MarketSite will begin the process of merging the data. We'll get the message that the new data was successfully uploaded, and click OK to proceed. The following screen has a status box in the center of the window where we find the initial results. MarketSite automatically matched variables from both datasets that had identical variable labels and codes, and identical value labels and codes. That number is listed first. Variables which remain unmatched are listed below, broken out between the two datasets, new and old. The middle value shows the number of variables matched by rules the user can define. By default, this will be zero, but will update as we toggle the rules listed above on or off. Using the checkboxes above, you can engage the rules that best match your desired result. Ideally, you would aim to minimize the number of unmatched variables with any combination of these rules. The first rule will combine the values for similar variables. If variable A in the old dataset has values 1 and 2, and variable A in the new dataset has values 1 and 3, the combined dataset will have values 1, 2, and 3. The second rule would be used if both the new and the old datasets have variable A with values 1 and 2. However, these values have different labels. MarketSite will then use the new dataset's labels for the combined dataset. The third rule provides two options for situations when either variable codes or variable labels don't match between the new and old dataset. In either case, MarketSite will match on what is shared between the two variables and use the information from the new dataset in the combined dataset. After configuring your rules, the bottom section of this page determines how the remaining unmatched variables are handled. You can choose to match them manually or add them to your combined datasets as new variables. If matching manually, MarketSite offers two options to define which dataset the variable label and codes will be taken from. If you decide to add them as new variables, the next button will skip ahead to the Wave Variable Options page. Otherwise, Next brings us to the Manual Matching page. On the manual matching page, we see the unmatched variable section on the left and the matched variable section on the right. The unmatched variables from the new dataset are those that need to be matched, found in the top left box. We can select a variable and a recommended match is highlighted in the old dataset section below. Clicking the match button will join the two variables and move them to the section on the right. While matching, you can expand the variables to compare values and help identify why these weren't matched automatically. Often, minor syntax errors are the only cause. We can repeat this process for all variables that should be matched manually. When completed, click Next to view the Wave Variable Options page. Creating a Wave Variable will help differentiate between the old dataset and the new dataset. 
We can also specify a default method of including waves of data in existing crosstabs, charts, dashboards, and data views. We can opt to include just old data, include just new data, or include all data. This can be changed within individual crosstabs or data views later if we'd like. We'll opt to include both old and new data by default and click Next to proceed. Finally, we'll give the new combined dataset a name. We click Finish and we are returned to the datasets page. We can see in the task list that the append is in progress. Once the process is complete, we see the new combined dataset appear in this folder. By clicking on this dataset, we'll make it our active dataset. We can now view and edit all the variables, crosstabs, charts, dashboards, and data views, which are now updated with a new wave of data. That concludes this training video on appending respondents.